Ah, uh, here's some y lovely young Greek Greek girls. Come on, come on, smile. Okay, beautiful. Of Cutty's store. Of Cutty's store. Okay, in taxi. Beautiful. Poly Kala. Have cut his star. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. I'm going up to where I'm staying. These beautiful young Greek girls, they don't sp speak no English. They just happen to be coming out of the house while I started videotaping where I'm going. They're very, very beautiful young Greek girls. This is the entrance. Okay, the young girls came out again to say hello, and they told me what their names were. They asked me what my name was. Oh, Mary, Irene, and Demetra. And I told them my name was Thuma, which was Thomas. Anyway, back to where I'm staying. This door will open up to a washing machine. How much better can I get than that? This is the stairs to where I'm staying. Some nice container plantings. Another door to somewhere. I have the entire place to myself. There's no one on the first floor. So it's been very quiet and relaxing. And we're gonna go upstairs now. Okay. We're going up to the entrance. There's the doorway. Before we do that, we're going to go to the balcony. Very lovely. Wisteria overhead. Uh, flowers have gone by, but it's nice. And we're just going to continue walking to the table where I have a glass of wine waiting for me. But the views here are spectacular. This is the village cascading down the hillside. You can see the surrounding hills, heavily wooded, forested. A little breezy today, cloudy, but comfortable. It was warm. And there is Mount Olympus. Can't get a better view from the balcony than this. Just scan around, you can see all the houses and the red tile for roofing. The entire village is, is really nice. Full of character, lived in, well worn. If you want glitz and plushness and waited on hand and foot, then go somewhere else. But if you want a real Greek village, traditional, not overly touristy. This, this is quite the place. One more scan around. Mount Olympus. We're going to go inside now. There's nice windows. This is the entryway, the kitchen. Back up just a bit. Almost like a mantle here. With, uh, large mural or painting and Greek knickknacks. Kitchen sink, almost like marble or quartz. Back up just a bit. Small table. Tula, the owner, and her assistant Vasilia, lovely young Greek girl who spoke perfect English, to a so-so English, but left me some goodies, some Greek type of bread. It's a sweet bread. Those are my tomatoes I bought at the store. Some very hard type of bread that's probably good for dunking and coffee. She left me a bar of soap, a little jar of olive oil, some oregano, and some mountain tea, which is sage. And back up just a bit. Microwave. This is the bathroom over there. The cabinets are just filled with plates, <coughs> dishes, utensils, there's condiments, uh, 
some more uh, dishes, glasses, very beautiful cups. And up above the cabinets are baskets, uh, a plate, nice vase. It's the kitchen again, hot and cold water. Place for drying your uh, plates and dishes. Some more knickknacks. It's a full-size bathroom, kind of tight, but it's got a sink, toilet, mirror, and there's the uh, shower, full-size bath. And the entire place is just stocked with everything you need. There's shampoo, there's conditioner, there's soap. <clears throat> I mean, everything. Knives, spoons, utensils, glasses, coffee, tea, pepper, salt, herbs, spices. Okay, I'm gonna go back towards the living area. This is the little living room. I'll turn on the light. Maybe get a better view. Nice sofa with all my um, bags and so forth. Got a TV here. Swing over to the bedroom. Nice bed. Uh, not overly comfortable, but okay. Beautiful uh, bed stand, carved wood of some type. Bureau stocked with towels, pillows, linens. Nice light overhead. Beautiful uh, wood paneling for the ceiling. Window. Somebody's hat will swing around. The fireplace area with a wood stove if it gets cold. She does have heat here, so uh, if you need it, it's available, but it's been so warm and humid that it's good to open some windows. Little cubby hole there with more uh, Greek uh, vases and vases and so forth. Mantle with decorations and paintings. Have a little corner of the living area. It's small, but it's more than adequate and for the money, I mean, you can't you, you can't buy this or pay this type of money and get this anywhere. Not just in Greece. I'm not sure what this is. Probably some type of uh well, I guess a router for the internet, which the Wi-Fi here is excellent. Unfortunately, my tablet has been blocked by my tedious uh, service provider. Really irritating because it worked all the time prior to this and all of a sudden they're questioning whether it's my device or not and I can't confirm it because they're sending some code to my phone number or I can't access this from Greece. Uh, I don't have a mobile phone, so I'm stuck without that, but unfortunately I can get access on Facebook so I can contact my sister Steph and she can relay info to Robin letting her know I'm okay, not to worry, but still it would be nice to get direct contact with Robin let her know what's going on. Okay, this is the view of the kitchen from the living area. I mean, it's got everything you could want, but without the glitz and plushness and color over the top uh, services and, you know, if you want all that stuff, then you don't want to stay here. The village itself is something else. It's lived in, it's well-worn, it's full of character, but again, it's, you know, not super touristy, no glitz, beautiful courtyard, uh, court, town court area, shops, markets, tavernas, 
I'm gonna go back outside a bit. Oop, starting to starting to rain a little bit. It's cloudy. That's okay. Most of the day has been sunny, warm, very warm. In fact, humid. Had even had to have the AC going in the car. I don't know if you can hear the rain splattering, but uh, here's the terrace and balcony with the plantings. Uh, it's like petunias. Getting a little breezy. Uh, it's about 4:30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so I did all my traveling around and went here and there, and I'm back just hanging out. I'm gonna take a shower, get ready to go out and have something to eat. Last night it was a great taverna I went to, just a superb food. It was the only one there other than some locals across the street. So, no tourists here. Might be different in July and August, but early October, it's like devoid of tourists. Very traditional Greek village. And it's well worth coming here and trying to get this place, but you have to do it through Airbnb. It's called Living Like a Local in Ayasos. One last look from the terrace to the surrounding hills. Uh, you can hear the uh, young Greek girls whooping it up down below. Really nice, cute, attractive, friendly girls that, you know, back in America, you probably wouldn't want to be talking to a stranger, but here, they're all safe, there's no violent crime, they're friendly. Back in America, you'd probably be easy prey for some pervert. But in Greece, that doesn't happen. Okay. There's Mount Olympus. The wind's picking up. I'm going to end this today, and it's quite a beautiful place to stay. Traditional village of Ayasos on the island of Lesvos. You can hear the church in the background. And there's the rest of the village. That's only a small section of it. One thing about this place is it's steep. You gotta be walking uphill constantly. Numerous side streets, dead ends. Everybody you run into is polite, saying hello, how are you in Greek. Can't get any better than this if you want a real Greek experience.